In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our goodnight message on this Thursday, the 18th of February 2021, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message and indeed inspiring in line with the Word of God for today, entitled, Choose Life That You May Live. Today we read from Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 15 to 20 for our first reading where Moses was speaking to the people in the voice of God. See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. Towards the end he said, therefore choose life that you and your descendants may live loving the Lord your God, obeying his voice, and holding fast to him. For he is your life and length of days, that you may dwell in the land that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. This was part of the last testament of Moses to the people of Israel. He wanted them to know that their future is their choice. You know, some people believe that fate or predestination, not personal choice, controls their life. When they fail to reach certain goals, they simply shrug it off as inevitable. It was never meant to be, they say. Others become disillusioned when they see no way out of this oppressive and unjust world in which we live. They may have tried to make their lives better, only to see things like war, crime, natural disasters, sicknesses like COVID-19 wreck their plans time and again. Why bother? They ask themselves. It is true that circumstances in life can seriously affect your plans. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11 has it all. However, when it comes to your ultimate destiny, you do have a very real choice. In fact, the Bible shows that your future depends on your choice. Consider what it says. Moses, the leader of the ancient nation of Israel, told the people in that testament that we are talking about in Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15, and then verse 19, and then verse 20. I have put life and death before you, the blessing and the curse, and you must choose life so that you may live, you and your descendants, by loving the Lord your God by listening to his voice and by sticking to him. Yes, God delivered the Israelites from slavery in Egypt and put before them the prospect of a free and happy life in the promised land. But all that would not come upon them automatically. To gain those blessings, they had to choose life. How? By loving God, by listening to his voice. By sticking to Him, it required self-discipline. 
today a similar choice is before you in this lenten period we have entered and how you choose will determine what your future will be by choosing to love god to listen to his voice and to stick to him you will in effect be choosing life life everlasting on a paradise earth but what is involved in each of those steps choose to love god love is god's primary attribute god is love wrote the apostle john under inspiration first john chapter 4 verse 8 for this reason when asked what is the greatest of all commandments jesus said you must love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind matthew 22 verse 37 a real relationship with god must be based not on fear or blind obedience but on love why should we choose to love god god's love for mankind is like that of loving parents for their children though imperfect loving parents instruct encourage support and discipline their children because they want them to be happy and to flourish what do parents desire in return they want their children to love them and to take to heart what they as parents have imparted to them for their good is it not reasonable that our perfect heavenly father expects us to show loving appreciation for all that he has done for us listen to his voice in the original language of the bible the word listen often carries the sense of obey even in latin obedere obedere is to listen where the word obedience is derived from is this not what we mean when we say to a child listen to your parents that's to listen to god's voice implies learning and obeying what he says since we cannot literally hear god's voice we listen to him by reading and applying what is in his word the bible itself first john chapter 5 verse 3 to show the importance of listening to god's voice this coming sunday we are seeing the temptations of jesus though not very elaborate because this time we are taking from the gospel of mark but the gospel of matthew but the gospel of matthew has jesus saying these words man must live not on bread alone but on every word that comes from god's mouth matthew chapter 4 verse 4 as important as physical food is to us taking in knowledge of god is in fact even more so that is why we call our family a daily bread family a family that feeds on the word that flows from the mouth of god and makes it the daily bread we want to be that in order for us to choose life and live in order for us to see our future brighter glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen good night as a dreams same to you father what it let us go so crazy lord trying on my own so you came alone how can i ever try to thank you lord for being there when nobody cares
to be 